What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are doing another Caldheim draft. I just mentioned on stream that uh, the cube is gone. Live the Dream cube is gone. But in two weeks, less than two weeks, actually, uh, the Vintage cube will be back on Magic Online. So that's pretty sweet. And um, I also mentioned that I've been really, really enjoying drafting Caldheim. So... That's been nice. It's been really nice to enjoy drafting like a, a base set format rather than like a cube, you know? And even this pack, like you're like, oh, Graven Lore is great. Narfi is great. And then Agar is great. And then there's like Lindworm, which is playable. Land, which is good. Augur Graven. Like this pack's good. I think I like the Agar. It's probably one of my favorite build around cards. <clears throat> like Narfi's cool too, but he requires Snowlands and other Snow Permanents. Graven lore is really good, but this is an effect that's often easily replicated with things like Behold the Beyond. Whereas Agar is a pretty unique card. And we got a, oh, a Basalt Ravager and a Frostbite in the next pack. Hmm. hmm. I think it's Basalt Ravager. I mean, if if Invasion of the Giants comes back, that'd be sweet too. Or Augury Raven. But I think we're just taking the Basalt Ravager. Mmm, Burkstrider seems good. Three Giants in a row? I'm okay with it. No more Live the Dream is Boorns. I really wish sometimes they'd have these cues for up for more than like a week. Sometimes I like... Like, cause I'll, it'll go up on Wednesday. I didn't get to play Wednesday, so I, I played Thursday and Friday. I didn't play Saturday or Sunday, and then I played Monday and Tuesday. So I got like four days out of seven of the cube, and it's just like, that doesn't seem like a lot. So, I don't know. Yeah, Jimmy, like I said, me too. I like it's, it's great because like, I, I don't know, Theros was fine, but I didn't love it. And Ikoria was fine, but like, this is the first draft set where I'm actually like, yes, I'm going to draft Cold Time. Like, I did a draft the other day. And I didn't stream it. And it was like the first time. I like Snow Covered Island. But I think Dwarven Hammer is very, very good. Um, especially with Agar because of the um, the trample. Actually, that doesn't make sense, right? Because you, you actually... Like if you have a five power creature attacking a four power creature, it deals no excess damage. We're going to take Behold the Multiverse. Uh, I really like Sirtland Frostpire. And the Snowland might be nice, but... <sighs> yeah, Craven Hulk seems fine. I mean, I'm just trying to take Giants because we have... Uh, a, we have an uh, Basalt Ravager who wants a bunch of Giants. And the other thing is Agar triggers off all the Giants, so... That is a that was also a very late behold. So This is also a late shepherd as well. I don't think it sees the spoils. I do like a run ashore, but I mean I also kind of just like Craven Hulk here. I don't I don't think Crush the Week is kind of map. Maybe we just want to crush the week for the sideboard actually. There's definitely certain decks where Crush the Week is just great, so Oh, well, speak of the devil. I mean, this time we're just going to take the snow-covered mountain. Thank you! Oh, Chain's Addiction. One and a half years, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Oh, Changelings are fantastic. Mistwalker is, like, top tier common for sure.
Crush is going to do basically nothing at 70 plus percent of decks, but it's going to... Yeah, that's right. That's what I mean. Like, there's a bunch of decks where X3s are prevalent. But then there's the weenie deck where, like, it's either mono white or red white. And it's just like, well, this is very good here, so... This pack is not super exciting. I don't think I want a snow-covered swamp. But I don't think I want anything else either. Run Amok is actually... I'll run Amok. Oh, what up, Chaos Theory? Well, the Invasion of the Giants did come back, which is kind of cool. I mean, Burst Rider costing three or Craven Hulk costing two is pretty nice. Oh, there you are. Um, I don't love Cinderheart Giant, but I'll take it. Take Master Scald, I guess. All right, I'll take Seize the Spoils now. I don't think it's great, but. Undersea Invader falls in the same category as Cinderheart Giant. I'm definitely... Oh, Cyclone Summoner? Wow, that's real sweet for us. I do not think Basalt Ravager is coming back, or Mistwalker. But that's pretty insane. Um, giant, 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 so far. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, squash? Yeah, I'll take a squash. Love a good squash. Deal. Oh, I like a Mist Raven. I like an Ice Bind Pillar as well, but I don't know if our mana really supports it. Our one snow-covered mountain. I think we're kind of just... not uh, leaning into the snow theme and taking Mistwalker here. And obviously, if the lands come to us, I mean, I'm definitely going to take them, but I think Inga Runize is just fine. It's also a wizard, so it doesn't get bounced with uh, Cyclone Summoner. Um, hmm. I mean, Doomscar Titan's not terrible for five. Yeah, I'll take a Doomscar Titan. It's another giant. It essentially costs five. Gives itself haste. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What do we want to open? Hmm. Starnheim Unleashed. But you're not white. Well, right, but if we open it, we will be. None of these cards are super impressive. I'll just take a bind here. I don't think we want a snow-covered swamp again. Like, I'm just not going to play a colorless land just because it's snow. Wow! Is that really, like, a 7th pick Agar? <laughs> sure, dude. Deal. That's phenomenal. Oh my god, 8th pick Mistwalker? Oh, 8th pick Frostbite as well. Oh boy. I think it's Frostbite here? We don't have any other Frostbites. I think in the future it's going to be easier to get Mistwalkers than it is to get Frostbites. I'm actually going to take the Alpine Meadow here. Yeah, Craven Hulk, sure. I'll take a second Craven Hulk. I mean, the problem with Frostbite for us is that we just don't have enough snow permanence to really make it proc. Is the word I'm looking for here? We have so far two lands and one Berg Strider, and that's pretty much it. But, eh, it's possible we can get more. Well, none of these are exciting. I'll just take this seat and cat. Yeah, I don't mind having a raven form. Okay. Agar number three. <laughs> I mean, it's literally one of the best cards in the pack. I mean, Squash is great too, but I think I'd rather just have three Agars because he's kind of insane. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm taking the Agar over the Squash. I think our, our odds of getting another Squash is, is not zero, and our odds of getting another Agar is probably not high. <sighs> Frostbite Arcanist is great here, but we also only have one of all of our spells. I'm kind of leaning towards Volatile Fjord here. It makes our Berg Strider better. It makes Frostbite better. Yeah, I'm just going to take this. I mean, like, the reason we take Agar is because I definitely want to have a third. I, I want to almost guarantee myself having an Agar on turn three. I kind of just want this Glorious Protector. Like, we might even be able to splash white off of the Alpine Meadow. I don't care about Firewalker. I don't care about Cinderheart Giant or Null. So this pack really does nothing for us. So take the rare, I guess. Plus, if we get, like, uh, another... Any other dual snowlands or like the um, Shimmer Drift Veil? That's pretty good. Like like that one. <laughs> I mean, I'd still probably rather take the Berg Strider. I think. I only have one five drop right now. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take the Shimmer Drift Veil. It not only lets us cast Glorious Protector a little easily if we want to do that, but it also gives us something to... Uh, it just makes our other Berg Striders better. I'll take Augury Raven here. I don't hate a Snow-Covered Plains. I mean, none of our cards are really double except for our six drops, so. 
I don't think I want a third Craven Hulk. I, I think we're I think we're at our Craven Hulk limit. I'd rather take a second Dwarven Hammer, if anything. But I think we're just going for snow-covered planes here. I don't think I want two Dwarven Hammers either. Oh, wow. Glimpse the Cosmos? Wow. Snap that off immediately. Jeez. I don't hate having one run ashore, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'll take the run ashore. I think it's probably better than the Rune of Speed in our deck. The Squash came back. Okie dokie. Well, our deck's really good, I think. Frostpire Arcanist came back. Okay, we're like the only person even touching giants. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Hammer's pr probably always going to be a 5 drop. Ideally, Squashes are 2 drops. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five snowlands. This is 23. I don't hate it. Oh, Tormentor's Helm is not terrible. Look, Craven Hulk came back. This deck seems pretty sweet. And that is... Oh, we got a treasure chest, guys. Uh, cancel. We'll do that later. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, this guy can be played on two... 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 These are ideally twos. Creature 15. Solid. Hmm. Do I want anything over the like undersea invader, which I'm not super thrilled about? Axe Guard Cavalry might just be fine as a guy to play on too. I don't think I want a second Craven. We have ton of, tons of card advantage between Behold the Multiverse, Glimpse the Cosmos, and three Agars. We're, we're probably cutting both planes. I think three white sources is plenty for uh, for one white card that we're definitely going to um, suspend most of the time or foretell most of the time. Yeah, I think Cavalry is fine. God damn it. So this is, it's going to be seven. Seven, eight, nine blue sources. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine, nine, and then three. It seems pretty good. All right. Let's see if this deck is good or if it only looks good. Uh, seems fine. Suspend on two, cast on three. Yeah, this seems amazing. Then we have four drop, another two drop. This gets a scry three. That's real good. Let's get down to business with all of our giants. 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 
It's just Milan, but with giants. Uh, you got it. Let's do a cruise plus one, plus one. Sure. So next turn I can go Augury if you can keep up Squash, kill whatever you play, draw a card. Father likes. Uh, no blocks. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah, do that. Oh, I like your bird. Oh, also we can squash and then Frostpire Arcanist to draw a squash. Yeah, that seems unbeatable. Just that guy, huh? I want to block. And if you want to spend two mana... Okay. <laughs> yep, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Petitioning for a Frank Regan Vents a Disney album. I'm already doing You're already getting it. You're getting it for free. Uh, This feels like a Crush the Week matchup. How's that sound? Take a run ashore. I'm here providing this free Disney content for you guys. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. Now that's what I call Frank Volume 1. And do they give me daughters when I asked for Michael B's? So next turn, we can either foretell this guy or cast this and Frostbite. Alright, they're not doing anything right now. That's pretty good. Um, thing is, we don't need cards yet, so I'm actually going to foretell this. I mean, this is not worth. This is not worth killing at this juncture. Oh, that guy's good. What is he doing? Sure, I forgot to up here. Yeah, let me pay one. Okay. He just be finding the runes. Well, I like that. Now me thinking that the dog whining is actually Hunter and not the game. Hunter is not in here currently, so it actually was the game. But, that was definitely a solid theory. You got it. What do I get to attack for, 900? 
with Doomscar Titan. I kind of just like playing Rune Eyes here. I like playing Rune Eyes, keeping up Frostbite, and then next turn playing Doomscar Titan. Because I don't want them to just chump block with this idiot. Uh, bottom, you. Next turn we can play both of these. I mean, we can't because we won't have it, but nonetheless. We have two snow permanents. That's so close. So close. Hunter, I think the, the main thing Hunter hunts is his own tail. That's pretty much it. That's rude. See, now I'm going to kill this one because... I just want to maximize my manas. Can you? So now they're in a position where like they just can't even uh, they can't really attack, I don't I don't imagine. Hunter is out for tail, huh? Hey buddy. That's my boy. Oh, I like I like your little I like your little raven, your little rappy boy. They don't even have a black source for this. They just literally relied on Runeforge Champion to be able to cast it. My foster kitten currently does that. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Um, this, these both cost two, right? So. God, we have one, two, three, four. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think we just got to bottom both of these for now. I'm trying to hit like a squash. Or a land. Land's good too, I guess. Squiddy diddy 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 dosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'll just take the agar here, I guess, but... We're not going to attack, so. We get to look through a lot of cards. Next time we get to play Mistwalker into Glimpse. Definitely gonna cast this for one. Look at three more cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's got to be this, right? This guy's really problematic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, seven. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be bananas, right? Oh boy, that'll do, pig. Oh boy. Giant wizard, giant, giant, giant wizard. Okay, but I didn't think I had the mana for it, so yeah, it wasn't intentional. I have passed Frank on one monitor and present Frank on the second. I'm afraid to hook up a third. I mean, I think hooking up a third is your only way to know what's going to happen in the future.
What up, y'all? I should be asleep. Oh, this hands. Give me uh give me something to give me something to foretell here. can't kill that thing, unfortunately. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, wait, why can't I do this? It was not my turn. This is actually fine. I don't necessarily care about that much. I was the green white opponent. Yeah, that this giant deck is pretty wild. I, I agree with you. Good games. Short short foreskin. <laughs> okay, I'll take three. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Any foretelling card? Use not only a card in your hand without foretelling. It's foretelling cost equal to its mana cost reduced by two. Can you foretell at instant speed? Yeah, Vintage Cube comes in about two weeks, and I could not be more excited about it. Less than two weeks now, actually. Oh, what up, Not the Plague? I do get to kill that guy, but not... Hmm. So, deal six. We can just kill that thing and then attack for three? I don't hate that. The problem is it doesn't let us do anything else, so... I almost kind of like Mistwalker here, then we can Basalt Ravager like this thing. I guess we can do that anyway. <sighs> you can also just play Craven Hulk take three. Kind of like that better. Yeah, I'll just do that. Just get a body on the board. Because if we hit another land, we can actually play Mistwalker and Squash in the same turn. Which I think has got to be better, right? Um, yeah, we could double block here, actually, and trade Agar. That actually seems pretty decent. So if I double block here, like this guy's, I'm, am I going to draw a card? I don't know. Because the Agar could deal three, and then the Hulk could deal four. All right, we did it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Because this still deals damage in its excess. So that's kind of what we wanted.
That seems good. We can name white for this just in case. If they play anything that costs three, we just get to kill it. Yep, like that guy. Sure, that's fine. Boy. Solid plays all around. If we had one untapped mana, we could actually use it here. That was a very, very efficient way to uh, neutralize my board there. Okie dokie. gonna name blue here because we have Mistwalker. Not that we can pump it four times, but if we want to pump it three times and still cast a blue spell. Four, one, two, three. Uh, no, I want to pump this twice. One, two, three, four. Still got Bergy Boy on board. Cheese Bergy Boy. Oh, what up, Matthew? We have one card. They have five. And we have three more lands than they do. Sure. One, two, three, four. If we draw a land, we can pump this for two and put them to two. Are they gonna iron? We're gonna make make this bird play the iron price. Okay, sure. Oh, that's kind of cool. We actually have enough to cast it. We can also blink the basalt ravager, which is pretty sweet. I'm eating a slice of cheese. <laughs> oh, fucking Carwit, ladies and gentlemen. The hero we need. Mm, seems good. Also seems good. Glimpse for two, huh? Huh. 
So they actually... Are they dead here? <laughs> they go to one. Okay. Same as a reasonable. I mean, you can equip this. And then I can blink whatever you block so you don't gain the... Oh, you're just gonna... I think that's not gonna do it. Okay. Two cards in hand, huh? <laughs> I see. There's, there's your boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gotti! Me smash, more like me smash. Am I right? Because <laughs> giants. This is a match where I actually don't hate a null. It counters their equipment, uh, it counters a rune, and it also counters their bound and glory. It's your boy! It's your cyclone boy! I don't know if Crush the Week was good enough. We saw a 3-2 flyer, 2-2 ground guy. What else did we see? I don't know. I think our deck's pretty good. I do like having an answer to the stupid... I guess we have Run Ashore and Cyclone Summoner. I guess that's probably fine. If they want to keep my permanence on the board... Uh, and just bound them in gold. I will de-goldify them. It's your girl. Your girl. <laughs> oh boy. Good times. Good times. Any of the new commands going to be considered for your queue? Um, not yet. Oh, we're definitely... Look, we got white here for the glorious... This hand seems bananas. B A N A N A S. I can also just cast this on turn three. <laughs> oh, this this old chestnut again? Okay. Hmm. Oh, you can foretell at sorcery speed at instant speed as long as it's during your turn. That's interesting. So if like they go to try and make you discard something, you can foretell it in response. That's super cool. No, they can't. Well, if they did it on your turn somehow. Okay. We figured it out. Oh, sorry. Is it my turn? I'm not going to do anything? Interesting. Okay, sure. What are we doing here? I mean, them missing land drops and us getting a 3-4 on board seems pretty good.
Bring me a Those new arts are gonna have me broke. Remember when everyone said it earlier? Said what earlier? What's going on? Um I guess I'll just attack with these two. Play bird boy and hide that away. Thank you. Tireless tractor, thank you for the reset, buddy. 29, just like my age again. What's my age again? <clears throat> Turgrid's Shadow. Thank you. It's pretty good. Um. Hmm. Jojo MKE, thank you so much for the for the resub and I definitely did have a good time. Really appreciate it. You are awesome as always. I'm gonna resolve this, I guess. Let's try to find a land, and then we can play Ingarunize after that. Oh, we did. We found a land. I mean, I'm, I'm happy keeping both of these, to be quite honest. Oh, I don't have a blue. I only have one blue in play. Well, that's a thing. We still have six power flying on board. Oh, I have no idea what just happened. Okay, are they going to make me sack this guy, too? I mean, I'm sure they're going to... They can't... They got to feed the swarm here, right? Feed the serpent, whatever. Okay, you got it. Man, remember when I, when I made this white? Because I'm like, well, I want to be able to sh make sure I can play that... Uh, that angel, and then they're like, well, too bad every land you're going to draw is going to be white, and you're going to get one blue, and I'm going to be like, okay, but I still win, so I guess that's good. Okay, so we're 2-0, and I don't think it's been particularly close. Oh, what up, Dans? Alistair Stone, my dude, hope, hope you're doing well as well. Shut up and take my money. What's happening right now? One Dan's buck. Okay. Okay. Seems good. You got a bot draft with all the goodies in your deck? I did not. I got a real live draft. I'm gonna keep this hand any red and we're we're just we're just doing great. We're on the draw. Old Man Farts. We're playing as Old Man Farts 26. Oh yeah, this deck is sweet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Okay. Beautiful Lotus. Okay, well that's not it's not necessarily a, a, a red source, it's more like a, a card that needs red mana. Thank you. It's not really the same. But this will be a red source. It's gonna be an alpine mana that's gonna come and play tapped. It's not that either. Okay, we're doing good. Is the OP's name a noun or a verb? Are you are you old man farts? Or are you saying that old man farts? Oh, this guy's good. And this is how we lose. That's exciting. Wow, that's exciting. I'm 
just gonna. I don't. This is. This feels rough when they get to vampiric tutor here. I am the twenty-sixth old man farts, in a long line of farts. Burn me. He could also be a group of farts produced by an old man. Oh wow, they're just gonna. Interesting. Oh, but look at that. Everything's coming up Millhouse. I kind of like Runize here because Agar is not going to do anything, and this kind of helps us find another red. So next turn we can go Agar into Squash, draw a card, bottom that, keep those two. That seems really good. Oh, I see. Because you got the wings. That's cool. You're a real cool dude. You're a real wing. Wing using man. Someone knocks and you think I am in danger? I am the danger. You got it. I am the one who farts. That's beautiful, man. Hey, bring me a higher fart. Whoa. I've watched Breaking Bad in total probably like five times. It's definitely one of my top three favorite shows, I would say. Justified and Breaking Bad are definitely in my top three. And I've watched both of them numerous times. Mad Men, I have also watched about three times, I believe. Oh boy, bad things are happening here. I kind of want to land now because... Nice. Well, we're just going to run ashore, I guess. Oh dear Jesus. Yeah, their deck is good. Where does Married to Children rank? Not super high. Choose a card to put into their hand. I'll give you the Yarl. Okay. Put one into the library. This guy and put this one into your hand. We can cast this for no we can deal we can literally deal them nine here. Oh, we can also go grab a squash, which is pretty sweet. Oh, that's real good. 
How many times have you seen Hitch? Not enough, unfortunately. Oh, no, we can't draw Squash now. <laughs> Guy's actually not terrible. Uh, end turn. So if they want to equip this and swing, that's fine because then we get to kill it. Good news for you. I got a buddy who owns 142 copies and counting. <laughs> I'm sure he could lend you one. I do appreciate that. It's really... It's what I've been looking for. I'm like, I wish I had a way to watch Hitch. I just don't, you know? So it's... It gets a little tricky sometimes. Sure, you got it. Bring me your money. Uh -huh. Pass to attackers. I mean, I don't think there's a plus four that they can give this. I mean, they could have like the demon card. Which would actually be pretty good. Oh god, my next birthday present. Oh dear. Okay, they foretold something. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we just killed them, right? And they take two? This game was... I was going to concede this game. <laughs> wow. Our deck is insane, dude. If anyone else has any copies and wants to send them to me, big appreciate it. We're trying to get as many copies as possible. Oh, oh, oh boy. They have a lot of good creatures. Most of them are two threes. The Flying Lady is a 2-3. The Ground Demon is a 2-3. Again, Crush the Weak. Not ideal, but... This is also a very slow hand, and I was like, I'm just going to concede here because we have a red source. Oh, what up, Case? Okay, so apparently the client crashed. Thankfully, this hand is great, and we're still good. So hopefully we can not have lost all of our... All of our thing there. That one's that. Cool. I guess I just have to download it from Twitch. That's good times. One day through from my buddy and I saw 17 copies. Jokingly said, hey, what if we became the guy who collected Hitch? And left. Two days later, we came back. There's 24 and the addiction. That's not a reasonable amount of copies of Hitch. That is an unreasonable amount of copies of Hitch, in, in fact. So, you know, just trying to keep you guys apprised of uh, Hitch habits. Okay, you got it, you got it. Hope we hit a land next turn. I guess we can glimpse into a land and then either play Invasion or Behold. Or Axe God Cavalry. Good 
Come on, old man farts. Got it. Oh, we're so good at this game. He's never seen the movie? Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Oh, I like both of these. Um, so we're going to have one giant so we can deal two. Yeah, that's pretty good. So next turn, they take two from this, four from this, and we can give this guy haste. That's pretty cool. They have two cards in hand. That's not bad. about that at all <laughs> that's showbiz is it okay so you have no cards I care about in hand I kind of want to hit a land here let's hit a land I like an agar too, but Oh no, we messed up. If they double block Craven Hulk, it's pretty bad, but Oh, they didn't, they didn't do anything. Well, that's good for us. Kill this floaty boy. So they can attack with every single block here. We take one, two, three, four, five. We go to three, but then I think we can take care of it with Cyclone Summoner plus Axe God Cavalry. Undreamt Tuna, I appreciate you. Just the bird. Got it. So this guy costs five. So if we hit another land, we can actually squash and summoner. Squash and summoner was the name of my, my metal band. Oh, they did nothing. Okay, so we can double squash here. <laughs> Is that better than, like, it just makes them replay everything? So we can go Summoner for five. Auto pay is fine. Resolve is fine. Haste on it is fine. Kill you is fine. I mean, we know the cards in your hand. <laughs> you can't play any of them. So... Oh, I guess you can play that guy. I mean, you still have to block the 7-7, seven, seven, so... Uh, hammer. <laughs> Seems good. You got it. So every creature is lethal? Got it. I mean, whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right, this deck was insane. 
Uh, not surprised that we literally went 6-0, I think. I don't think we lost a game. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to follow or subscribe. Head over to twitch.tv slash franklapore. And if you can spare it, definitely consider subscribing. Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. And uh, content creation and streaming is one of my main sources of income. So you guys are literally keeping me alive and able to pay my rent. Okay. Two burgies. Two burgies. Oh, I got a Vorinclex there. That's pretty cool. Nut High Giants confirmed good. What do we got here? One more. One more of those. You know, I have 189 rares. I don't really need them as much. Thank you guys for watching, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.